Oh my god, I didn't mean to have it over the intercom filter the whole time. Holy shit. start in a minute. I'm going to change this, the song. Uh... Okay. Hi. Hello. Check. One, two. Let's get these knives. This, this whole layout is, is, a uh, is, a uh, mess. This is like a messy room. Like my, honestly, like my actual room. It's a mess. It's it's like not a, it like I someone for someone to see where I stream they would be like damn you stream like this not in a proud way outfit oh yeah I have different outfits I forget sometimes I have a lot of different things and then like since the channel has grown a lot of people have um I I forget like I can just do something that I used to do a lot and then people are like oh my god that's new. Chroma key them? Nah. Dude, that the chroma key meta, while funny, I think it's gonna it's gonna go away in like a day. Basically every streamer ever. What? Chroma key meta? Oh, like no one knows what I'm wearing? What? Your 3D mod model's gonna surprise. It already has surprised a lot of people, yeah. Do a chroma key ass right now. I thought it was clever. Can I say something? Oh, I mean, 
Okay, I said I was gonna say something and then I'm not gonna say it, but now I have to say it. I'll say this is the one thing I'm not gonna take back for you, okay? Um, I think the chroma key meta is way funnier if a, a human streamer does it than a VTuber. Like, I think if a VTuber does it, it's like kind of interesting, but then it's... I, I think we've already... I thought we already did that. I thought that was already a thing. But like the fact that the chroma key was on someone's like underwear and it's like they're it's real they're real that 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 takes some courage you know that's awesome what's up what's up mr greggles can, can we get a shout out for mr greggles awesome um awesome uh awesome drummer on twitch drums honestly the the most possibly the hardest instrument to play I wish I was good at drums. So I admire, I admire your, your drumming skills and your OBS skills. Yeah, check it. Check out their channel. I need like a, I need a better like video switcher so I can like pull up people clip, pull up people's clips. Drums Ringo Star. Yeah. But uh, yeah, let me just fucking pull up the clip right now. Hold on. Actually, I, I, um, Today I want to do a matrix type thing and awesome drumming. On. Okay, there's a long, there's an interview here. I need a clip. I need a clip of the Mr. The, the Mr. Gregor special right here, right here. Okay, hold on. There, there's thing. I'm doing this live. I'm sorry, I'm doing this live really quick. Glad you can tune in and stream. Yeah, I'm streaming earlier today. Um, I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find a good clip. I want to. I want to give this the time it deserves. Right here, right here. And it's also on a channel I really like too. Hold on. Where'd the music go? What is happening? Wait, what the heck? Oh, I forgot. In this playlist, the music gets really quiet halfway through for no reason. Oh, no, I closed it. I closed the music. I closed the music thing. That's fine. That's okay. I can do that. I'm, I'm a confident streamer. I have my window open for um for air, but you might hear some you might hear some funny stuff outside. Yeah, I'm I'm pause champed like it, it this is kind of eerie without the music. I need to put music back on. Uh okay, right here. Right here. So Mr. The Mr. Greggles stream. You need to check this out, okay? Whoa. Check this out. This is the, on, the le the, on, the, on the left is Nutty. Nutty is a... Uh, that's the face I'm making, actually, right now. And the right is the stream. This is two years ago, so it's a little... You know, sorry, it's an old clip, but the, the, it, the, the vibes have not changed. In, in terms of the vibes are awesome. Every single time I see it. Like, what on earth is happening here? The first time that I ever saw this, I'm like, how the hell is the camera freaking... Does it, like, on a slider or something? Like, what the hell is happening? It turns out, it's actually much simpler than that. He has 20 cameras. You can see <laughs> all of the cameras hooked up in an arc around his drum set, and it's all feeding through this fat fist of cables here. But what's even more impressive is that all of these cameras are connected You're now up to 70? Into That's a insane. single PC. That's the part that blew my mind. 20 HDMI cameras hooked up into a single PC. You have an addiction? No, you're, you're committed to the craft. By Elgato's latest capture card. Oh, Nut Nutty's shouting out creative streamers. Damn, he's he's really pioneering everything. So what okay, I had to save this video for later. I've never seen this video, actually. Nutty's awesome, too. If you're not following their YouTube, people are asking me to like, how do, how do I learn how to get 
OBS effects. Like, I, I don't know if I can be a tutorial Andy. Why am I not subscribed? That's embarrassing. I, I, I legitimately watch all their videos. Or not every single one, but I, I watch a lot of them. Um, especially when I was trying to learn OBS and different stuff. Um, and I just send people to him. They're like, hey, do you have a tutorial? I'm like, I can't make one right now. Go, 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 go watch Nutty. Nutty's fucking awesome. Um, and here's another clip right here. Okay, I'm subscribed to Apis Vox. Yeah, that would be embarrassing if I wasn't. Yeah, there's a ton, a ton of cameras. Anyway, that's, that's cool. That's, that's cool. That's cool live music innovation. Which we, I think, I think there's, there's possibility for more, too. You should make a twit that's all your VODs doubles as tutorials. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Because, I, I mean, I'm gonna make one, I think I'm gonna start one today. Like, the hardest th part about doing these things is starting them, so... I'm gonna make a few, and I'm gonna start it today just so I can, like, get better at just scripting and doing stuff. Um, I guess that brings me to, like, I have another idea where, again, this is, like, also a nutty... Like, I saw this idea from Nutty, but I think I can do it in my own way. Where Nutty has a channel point redeem that, like, immediately turns his stream to, like, a 16, 9x16 vertical video. And then, like, it instantly turns the stream to a short. And then, like, it posts to his Discord. So he just, like, auto lets his chat, like, automatically make shorts for him. And I have an idea, like, similar to that, that's, like, a little different. Um... And maybe like a little, I think it has like a funny twist on it that I'm thinking about doing. But like, yeah, Nutty maybe is like the pre, has like seeded every, has like incepted everything in my mind and it has just grown over time. Um, but today I want to do a thing with a matrix, uh, a matrix effect, which appropriately Mr. Griggles is here. And also find a singularity in the chat. I saw you. I'm going to use their plugin. Rapid fire content and social straight from the tap. Yeah, I was thinking if I just streamed like four by three, like check this out, hold on. Like if I go here and I'm just like, like I just start every stream. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, let's just pretend that guy's not there. If I just start every stream like this, and then I, I just like yap about random crap and then I just like toss it to an editor. It's like here, it's already a 9x16, just like <laughs> just clip it. <laughs> like that, I don't know. That's like straight slop. Straight slop from the tap, you know. Like top format, yeah. Yeah, today today I didn't really have I don't know, I was I was like, what am I doing today? I was a little sleepy. I actually fell asleep. I was doing some pre-stream rotting. I was watching just my, my personal YouTube like slop routine is just watch a lot of gear review videos. So I was like doing that and then I just fell asleep doing that, which is comfy. I used to, I, I swear, I used to just put on like AGDQ VODs. Like I would put on like the whole entire week's worth of AGDQ VODs on my TV. And then for one reason or another, I would always fall asleep. I would, I would lay down and I would always fall asleep, even though I didn't intend to. Burger track streams went soon. Biggest thing is getting more of your model in the frame with 9x16. Yeah, I've, I've made, I started editing shorts on my own, but it's... God, what a... What a slop format. <laughs> what a, like, actual distillation of, like, yeah, we're, it's, we're in the slop era now. Maybe banning TikTok is ironically okay. I, I, okay, here's the other thing is like, don't give in to despair, okay? Don't give in to despair because I think there, there is a world for vertical video that isn't like high octane stim, which there's a, there's a room. I love, I love my high octane stim videos too, but they're really hard to make. And sometimes there's a little over too stimulating, you know, just put just, uh, th there's also room for simple jump cuts. All it is. What do you think about Instagram one to one square stuff? Is that a thing? I thought on Instagram, like, no one uses the feed anymore. There's like an interview with the Instagram CEO where he says, yeah, like, no one really uses feed anymore. Everyone uses stories and everyone uses DMs. And like, I guess now Reels is like a growing sector of Instagram. So 
in terms of like how many people on Instagram are actually working on the feed, which I assume is where the one by one square stuff, it actually, I can't imagine it is as many people working on stories and, uh, and re probably reels at this point. And advertising. On Instagram, as advertising's too good. Okay. I am, yeah, I, I'm just gonna get to it. It's bigger in India, the Bollywood scene. For the main feed, you can post videos on Instagram. Yeah, what? What? The heck? Makes sense. Yeah, I have a very, unfortunately, I have a very US centric of view of social media. I think most people do who live in the United States. Like three vids at the same time is no different from hanging out outside with a friend and you see like a squirrel in a tree like we're watching multiple times all the time. True. True. The main feed is less accessible than the rest. Boost the reels and CEOs like, oh, people watch CEOs. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, C that's CEO brain for sure. For sure. IRL slop content has always existed. That's true. That's true. I shouldn't be too down. I think the thing about short, like vertical short form video, and this, I, I, I've always felt this, but like I don't know why it took this video for it to articulate to me. And ironically, I didn't watch the entire video, but there's a video where Ludwig interviews the new CEO of YouTube, not um Susan, but like the the new new guy, and he's like. Yeah, shorts to me, he's like telling him, he's like, as a creator, shorts to me, like I have to do them. But anytime I use shorts, I I don't remember what I did. Like I just lose time. Like time just passes. Versus like long form video, I sort of remember kind of what videos are. And that could just be a product of him being a YouTube creator who most like for most of his life has been around long form video. But I, I feel the exact same way. I feel the exact same way. Which is like, if I watch a short form video, unless it's like particularly grabbing for some reason, like it just it just goes. Even if I even if in the moment I'm like, oh, this is great information. I should remember it. It just is get lost sometimes in the void. Sam, wow, thank you for the 500 bits. Well, thank, thank I mean, I'm just streaming. Thank you. Thank you. I wish there was a way, I mean, man, I appreciate, I appreciate the support, but like the other part of me is like, I wish there was a way where I could like, be like, you can only contribute up to this amount. And then th once you did it, you win. You win, okay? You win. <laughs> you win. <laughs> Please stop using this. <laughs> I'm begging you, you win. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> What's up, Doig Swift? Yeah, get a shout out for Doig Swift in the chat. They're also very cool streamers. Um, also, also very cool streamers who they, they have. Okay, they have a very unique, I think, like VTuber setup in which it's like a 3D world. It's like a 3D VTuber world, right? We got we got a number of those. Very cool. But what I like about their setup is their avatars are controlled by controllers. Right? And I feel like with VTubing stuff, it's really easy to be like, oh, I need better tracking. I need higher fidelity tracking. I need like the next most insane tracking thing, which makes sense, right? Like that's just the, the, the progression that we have in our mind. But I love how clever and I wouldn't say simple, but it is a simplified version of tracking, right? Like if you use a controller, you kind of have to animate your avatars in a certain way, and I, I actually like that. It's like you... I don't know about you guys, but like when I first saw a VTuber in my life, I'm like, oh my god, that's crazy. That like, my brain can't comprehend this. Like this anime character is alive. But over time, I kind of like 
see the tracking working. Like our brains notice patterns, right? It's like, okay, I kind of see like all VTubers kind of move in a similar way, you know? And they're like different dimensions to that, but like they all kind of move in a similar way, unless like the person really puts effort into puppeteering. But then when I see something like Doig Swift, like because they have to animate their avatar in a certain way, like because there are these restrictions, it kind of makes it pop out more for me. Which is like kind of why what I'm trying to do with my avatar, which is like, yeah, it's more restricted, but hopefully it's like interesting, you know, it's it's like it's like a different way to do it. Like, you know, restrictions, breed creativity kind of thing. VTuber back in 2015, 2016, it was mind blowing, may have been the first. Yeah, I mean, the concept of VTubing has been around for, for a while. I mean, for me, it's like a 2D, I don't know if it was 2D, like back in 2015, 2016, it was like mostly 3D stuff that I've seen. You can pick out similar rigs between VTubers. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Also, the interesting thing about the the Hololive VTubers, this is kind of like the like an op confer like semi-confirmed rumor, I think. But over time, I kind of felt like the Hololive VTubers, like, huh, these don't feel as expressive as some of the stuff I see in the indie space. I wonder why that is, right? And kind of the semi-confirmed or the rumor. I don't want to even say it's semi-confirmed. Let's just. But the rumor that makes sense to me is they actually make them a little more rigid so they never have a frame where they look really goofy like every frame where you screenshot a hololive vtuber technically they're gonna look normal at the expense of like being incredibly expressive like they're already very expressive models but like the indie community keeps pushing it higher and higher and i think they just found a way to like find the balance between like yeah, be expressive, but like we don't want your mouth to go too crazy in case like you look away from your computer, something like that. You want to make a VTuber controlled by drums? Dude, I, I've, I've been thinking about that too. You were inspired by animatronics. That's such a great an analogy too. That's such a great little analogy. Hold on, let me see if I can pull up. Wait, a dog swift example. Oh yeah, this one. Hit tweet. This one, the, the hit tweet. What the heck? How did that happen? Okay, this one. See, like, look, look at how their their hands move. And I, I assume there's a little bit of face tracking. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. But look at how their hands move. Look at how they, they're just chilling. Um, you have face tracking. Yeah, yeah. But it, it, it looks so like natural, you know, and cohesive compared to like, you know, in, not compared, but like in relation to the controller movement that you're doing. I love that. It, I love the, the combination of both. I'm saying, yeah, you got the little grabby hands. And I assume, you know, you're just pressing a button on your controller, which is awesome. Uh, hold on, where's one where you're like running around? Oh yeah, and, the, and because they control their game world, right? Like they can do fun little gravity tricks. Sure There's like that? multiplayer. Sure. Oh yeah, big big ups to Duper too. Duper, um, talk about Duper in a in a minute. They're doing some cool stuff. I like the ones where you're running around. The hats, yeah, yeah. So they're they're kind of jumping around. <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of like um, Little Big Planet. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. You have these little jumping animations. It's like you're in a platformer world. Right. A duper is working on. I think a program which lets, lets you kind of do it. I played around with it a bit. Emshin? Emshin Studio? Motion Studio? I think this is a blunder animation from them, but like... They have also a 3D world set up, but it's... It's... A little simpler than Unity? I don't know. To be honest, I, it was a little difficult for me to get into, but I'm not in the 3D world. But it's crazy how many tools are, are kind of exploding on the scene right now. Emshin's really good. I, okay, the, the update on Emshin that got me really excited is you can add 
NPCs to your world, and then they can have TTS controlled by the Twitch chat. I tried to do it a little bit, and I was like, okay, this is like a little over my head, so I need to spend time learning this. But yeah, it, I think if you are vaguely familiar with 3D or game engines, it's probably a way to really streamline all that without having to build your own. Um, build your own. You've been developing yours since 2021. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's... There's another part of me that thinks like... Do you... So when people ask me how I get my stream set up, a part of me just wants to say, you just have to learn... Oh my god, this is the most STEM Lord thing I'm about to say. You just have to learn to code it. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't... And maybe that's why I'm not going to make $10 million selling the platform that is going to like make it easy for everyone to, to create what I do. You know, but like, you kind of just gotta... I, I think that's the quickest way to do it. Beginning. I'm gonna save that. Yeah, I'll save it. I'm I'm super down to the, the dev breakdown. When you Giga explode, please remember when you were on like 30 years asking why aren't Giga blowing up. I feel Giga blowed up right now. The, the chat sometimes is too fast. That's how I know. And people show up without me having to tweet all the time. That's I feel that's a blessing. I got shindigs went never. We got us up now. Yeah, Mikoverse 2 is just starting. I think she's like making her platform into a game, which is great. We're gonna this this is gonna accelerate. This is a content accelerationist. Big things coming. <laughs> That's scary. I appreciate that, thank you. Otters. Yeah, it's and I think here's here's the other thing that I think is also important is that from 2021 the VTuber landscape has matured and evolved that we there are so many examples of like what you can do with VTubing that aren't just what it, it there was like a big bang right and like in the big bang the original big bang it's basically like Corpos and indies doing like a specific ish kind of thing but then as the vtube universe has expanded and is starting to cool and we're possibly in the heat depth of the vtuber universe i don't know you know who knows but it has expanding it's cool the galaxies are like going farther and farther apart from each other um there's just so many different ways i think people can s have seen that the medium can be used for um it's it's uh it's it's I, I think that that's inspiring people to do different stuff too. Is the VTube what is the Ven VTuber equivalent of Avengers the Kang Dynasty? I don't know anything about Marvel after Endgame. And I did not watch Endgame. I've actually not seen the the two Endgame movies. I've heard they're very fun. I have you know what? I did watch the Avengers movie where the cyborg guy comes to life and tries to kill them but in the same way you know, <laughs> this is funny like in the same way that sometimes shorts feels like a parasite that just takes over your brain and you don't remember anything that happens other than it felt good to watch it that's what watching the marvel that marvel movie felt to me i kind of vaguely remember it was a fun and cool vibe but uh i don't remember anything else after that <laughs> I think the shorts I actually enjoy, and this is a personal thing, is like the ones that kind of teach you a small snippet of stuff. I, I watch a lot of sound design stuff on TikTok. That's fun. Or like music production. Those are fun. Big Shindig shorts coming. Big shorts. I hope so. You don't want Mario Model, you want... Um, yeah, yes, yes. We did not, I did not appreciate Spider-Man when it was out for what, what it was doing. Yeah, I really want, okay. I keep saying this and the more I say this, the more it's not going to happen. 
I really want to learn Godot. So I can do something like really custom. I actually have some small... Man, going with your, your, your um, latest short on Blender. Also, it has the right amount, has, has like the right words to like have the little content worm like dig its claws into my brains. Like something about like, here's how you can learn something. Like that gets a little content parasite into my fucking brain. Um, advice in short form seems to be appreciated on Twitter. Yeah, Twitter loves advice. Sometimes useful advice, sometimes not, <laughs> sometimes not useful. Yours was useful. But I really vibe with it because I, I'm a big believer in what you said, which is like, you gotta have an idea, right? Like, I say I want to learn Godot, but I'm not even taking my own advice. Like, I need to articulate, like, why. It's like, do I want to make a stream game? Do I want to integrate it with Twitch? Do I want to uh, make a typing game? I want to make a typing game. Like, I actually want to make a typing game in Godot because I like typing games. I do want to do Godot with Twitch, but, um, you know, I don't want to get too ambitious. And the second part, though, is, like, getting the idea really, really small so you can accomplish, like, the smallest thing is something like, you know, the minimum viable... The, 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 the minimum viable idea is good. But I think the idea that you need to learn something or you need to have, like, a goal or, like, a vision in mind. And, uh, I don't, I don't know if anyone has like a strong like if you can it on the scale of like can you imagine an apple in your head i can see the apple like i can see the apple i can rotate the apple i can eat the apple i i can turn the apple into like an, a dinosaur shaped apple like i can manipulate visions and images in my mind and so i think having that whether you know i'm having having some sort of skill around that i think is important or some way to manifest, like, if it's if you can't do that, like, the emotion or, like, the something has to... And, like, music is, like, called audiation. It's, like, musicians who are really good can hear what they're going to play before they actually play it. And, like, the transfer of that from your brain to, like, whatever medium you're doing is important. Yeah, so picking the thing you want to do first is, like, like you said. I'm just repeating what you said. It's important. Yeah, there's a there's an Adam Neely video that I really liked about audiation, uh, which is uh, yeah, just the idea that as you learn, I mean, his, his vibe was music, so he's a music YouTuber. But his thing is like, yeah, as you learn, you need to like hear what you want to play as loud as possible. Like, it needs to be like twice as <laughs> like twice as loud in your head as you think it needs to be. It needs to be like so obviously loud, and that's interesting because for me, um, I think. For me, it's much more visual. Um, so, like the things that I want to make, I can clearly see them in my head. I can, or like vague. Uh, I think as clear as possible, I can see them as my head. And and the the rest of it is just getting it out of my head. It's just like the the exorcism to get it out of my head. And there was another tweet I saw today. Actually, I'm gonna link it. I want to know. This account I follow. This one, no, I fucking love this. This was like actually a. This one's gonna stick with me. So it's like, uh, this is editor I follow, but they they wrote, how do you, how do you handle li having literally hundreds of ideas but not knowing where to start? I have a ton of ideas, but usually one is something I become so overwhelmingly obsessed with, relatable, that I have to work on it to free myself, relatable. It's like exercising a demon. Like this, this was it. This this is like, <laughs> this this is what it feels like to me, for real. Like it, it feels like I have, it has to come out. I guess the other way to think about it, it's like, it's like a really big poop. Like, but for real. I don't know if anyone else feels the same way, but like, if I have an idea I just firmly believe is interesting, it's just like, I just, it just has to come out. It has to come out one way or another. You get really, I mean, I also, I also do get stuck. So... There's the other part of it. You have something you're supposed to... Yeah, that's the hard part. 
That is true. I have some of like my really like the mech pilot idea I've had for such a long time and I just put it off and then I actually did it. I'm like, why did I take so long to do this? This was like, even though it took a long time, it was like completely worth it. I don't know why I put it off. But yeah, there's their brain things like that. <laughs> big shit coming. No, it's not big shits. Not big shits. I find the same, but the danger for me is the exercising feeling comes with comes quick and it's tough to stick with bigger stuff yes you know what i i'm not gonna lie i struggle with the same exact I, I struggle with the same exact thing i think i have gotten pretty okay and good at like doing an idea quickly but i still struggle with like sticking with an idea over time like more than a week i've actually been working on this scene that i started last week I haven't worked on it every day, but it's like, you know, it's taking multiple day days and it's actually hard to like pick back up again. I, I've also been working on a music project for a while too. But like, yeah, it's hard to kind of... I, I think you kind of, you know, you need to balance of both for sure. But my challenge right now is, is sticking with something over a long amount of, a uh, greater amount of time. I have done long projects like this, like that, and to be honest, they're agony. <laughs> it's like really agonizing to like wait to like do something over um, on a time, uh, over a very long period of time. Yeah, if you're like a honestly, if you're like Doix with or Blurbs in the chat, and you can code something, like work on the same project over years, that's so good. That's so admirable. I can't do that. I haven't done that yet. I guess other than the stream, but then the stream is like a little dopamine boost each time you go live, you know? So that doesn't count, but like keeping some, I guess, I guess streaming, developing something is helpful. Okay, um, it's like holding yourself accountable. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I guess the other thing too is like you got to really get into it. I mean, the the one way you can think about it is like you got to really love it. Um, I guess that that's that's very true because it's like I actually legitimately enjoy the concept of live streaming. Like I don't like I like live streaming and then people are poking me. It's like, yeah, you got to make shorts and stuff. And like I've dragged my feet on that for so long because like I like watching shorts, like like, but the like the art in the the craft it takes to get into there. I don't like it as much as just like streaming. Like I think streaming is interesting, uh, hyper interesting, and I'm sure there are merits to everything. You literally never watch shorts. Yeah, that's yeah. You know that's kind of my problem too. I do watch shorts. I do watch TikTok, but I watch like stuff that what like I wouldn't even make. Like I'm watching people upload entire movies on TikTok, and I watch the whole thing. I watch fucking like Reddit TTS slop. I ra I watch. I guess I watch like music production tips, which are kind of fun. I watch like AI Joe Biden argue with AI Obama in Minecraft. Um, but I'm not watching like VTuber shorts. You know what I mean? That's the problem. I'm not. I'm not watching. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching the. Spongebob AI raps. Yeah, for sure. I'm actually watching those. I'm watching this. There's this one woman on TikTok. Uh, I like your shorts. I like your shorts. But I don't get them. I get them on Twitter. Actually, the I don't know if I told... Maybe I should DM this like this whole concept I have in my mind to you. Because I see you're, you're out there grinding the, the shorts. I have taken upon myself, at least when I post the shorts normally, to actually make two edits. One edit for Twitter and one edit for YouTube. And don't, don't listen to me because I don't know if this is actually true. But I was always annoyed at how much Twitter cut off the vertical video on the main timeline. And I'm like, oh, this is just annoying to me. So like I, I keep it in 16 by 9, even on mo even though on mobile it does, you know, it doesn't take up the whole screen. But like, I feel like the thumbnail on mobile looks better, like as you're scrolling. And so 
I, and again, kind of a boomer, you know, kind of late to the shorts game. So take everything I said with a grain of salt. But as I'm scrolling on my phone, I feel like if I'm passing a short video, it kind of goes by because it's like it's cropped. I can't see what's going on unless the account is someone I care about, right? It's like, unless the account is someone I know, I care about, like, oh, that's an interesting topic. I'll like try to make out what the short is saying through the crop in the thumbnail. But if it is like a normal 16 by nine, at least on my phone, I have an iPhone 13, just if that matters. Uh, as I'm scrolling by, the, the 16 by nine ratio and like all the information of the video is, is uh, maintained. So I'm like, oh, like this is a clip. Maybe it's a trailer from a movie, right? I'm like, oh, okay, this is interesting. I'm seeing the entire frame. And so I think that's how people, you know, look at my stuff. And I'm like, oh, okay, like that's that's good. You can get an extra 40 seconds on Twitter. Yeah. But the problem is like, you know, like I wouldn't recommend anyone optimize for Twitter because it's, it's insane. I don't know. That's yeah, too different. Do you recommend not vertical formatting on Twitter? Oh my god, I, I don't want to change your entire line of thinking. I am I am just huge disclaimer. Hold on, I can do this. You know, you ever heard the thing is all advice you hear is advice to the person we give to yourself? You're confirming what it's using. Yes, I, for me, I, I do not enjoy posting vertical videos on Twitter. I feel they get cropped when you're scrolling. They're probably fine when you open them up full bleed on your phone. But in terms of like scrolling here here maybe i can i can show an example uh actually hold on what the heck now this is you should you should test it on your own actually hold on it's hold on i'm getting them full Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, now, now I'm getting gaslit by Twitter because now they're like fully expanded. Okay, it, on it only happens on my phone. So on my phone, if I scroll, on my phone, if I scroll uh, an account or something, a vertical video, it, it gets cropped, which is which to me is it feels bad. And here's here's the other part. Okay, here's the other part. Let me let me let me like be very clear. This this part is actually the most important part. I think is the algorithm superstition, right? I'm not saying the algorithm is blessing, you know, widescreen versus vertical or whatever. I don't think that's happening. What I'm saying is. I think things that work for people online, it is very hard to convince someone otherwise to change it because none of the rules are transparent, right? None of the rules of posting on the internet are transparent. It's kind of like when someone is talking about their luck, lucky shorts, like I wear my lucky shorts to take the finals at my school or something. And you're like, that's, that's not real. And it's like, well, why would I change my behavior and not wear my lucky shorts? Because like, there's no benefit in A-B testing that at all, right? Like, it's been working this one way. There, it can't conceivably work better. So, I mean, that that that's debatable, right? But like, it's hard to break a habit around things that are working for you. So like, that's the other thing that's like you got to take with the, with a grain of salt. You, you legitimately thought the keyword shenanigans was a secret sauce. I mean, it's 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 not even placebo. I kind of feel like it's very contextual person to person, right? It's very contact sensitive person to person. 
There's so many variables of proper A-B testing stuff. I mean, I think I've seen people A-B test stuff. Like, I had a streamer friend, um, friend of the show, Theo. Uh, he A-B tested, he he put us on Twitter. I, I normally am not like a big algo maxing guy. I just like follow people who, who, to who do the work for me, basically. He's like, on my go, he does software. Like, he talks about software on stream. Um, he was like, hey, I tweeted the, the Twitch link in my main bio or in the main tweet. And then I also tweeted my Twitch link in the reply, but not in the main tweet. And he like A-B tested both. And he's like, anecdotally, and I tracked it. I just found that like tweets in the reply count for more. Now, is that because the algorithm buries tweets in the main tweet? I've heard it does not do that. I've heard from people who know people say like oh that's superstition like that doesn't matter so is it something with the audience like does the audience just filter out subconsciously in their head if they see a link or an ad like who knows who fucking knows for real except the people at twitter really and maybe they don't know and so it, it's just like you just gotta go with kind of what works i think that, that that's that's the issue could potentially edit for cutting it down to moments first and second passes frame. Yeah, if it, if I want if I want to get really into the nitty gritty, I think whatever just keeps you making stuff is the most important thing. Like whatever helps you just keep like this goes back to what you're saying, right? Like whatever just keeps you creating things on a daily basis is like actually the most important thing. Because that's the bar that most people like myself can't clear. I, I can't clear I can barely clear that. And so that's like the most important bar to clear. And then the, the second part is optimization. If you People don't know what they want until you show it to them. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how people respond to um, the internet. I, I just kind of go with, with the vibe. Okay, sorry. I I, uh, I talked. I slopped maxed too hard. Sorry. I slopped maxed too hard. Let me show. I think today I'm gonna keep it pretty chill. I thought I was gonna game, but I think energy wise, I'm gonna keep it pretty chill. Um, what are we doing? Yeah, exactly. I want to make a um another funny like zoom out overlay. So for for those of you who just joined us, here's here's my be right my be right back screen. This is my be right back screen. Um, and then I, like I go out of the frame. I wanna do something exactly like this. I know, same gimmick. But I wanna do something exactly like this. But the main screen turns into like the matrix code. It zooms out. There's the Peepo who's the operator. And then I'm in the background like hooked up to the matrix, like the thing in my neck. And then the Peepo talks in my in my stead, I guess. He's like, oh yeah, like, don't, sorry guys, like, he's plugged in right now. Um, he's plugged in. Uh, we'll be back in like one minute or something like that. And this is, this is like a really good excuse for me to use the, the, uh, finite singularity, uh, plugin for the Matrix, because I've been looking for a reason to do that. Locked in is trending. I, I also want to make another scene where it's like, I don't know what my model would do, but I, when I do a music stream again, I, I need like a locked in screen, locked in thing to be like, hey, I'm not going to talk for like a minute. Did you have him be panicked? Ninjago crotch cam? What, what, what is that? What are those words? I'm familiar with those words, but not in that sequence. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start making it right now. So this this thing has, I'm gonna use just a copy of the template. Oh my God, hold on, copy. Zoom into your eyes and transition to the people operator. No, 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 no. Here, here's my... Whoa. Oh, I see what happened. Okay, okay. Currency. Oh, okay, hold on.
Mon okay, the source clone. Okay, okay. I want this. Copy. Paste. Oh, and uh, I I'll try to be better about showing my desktop as I'm doing this. One second. I need to find a way to actually share my my screen in an efficient way. Show you what I'm doing in OBS. Not a tutorial, but I think it's just like a good way to break down what I'm doing. Oh, oh, I have a display capture here. Yes. Yes. How can I put this? Uh, I'll, pu I'll put this over here, up here. <laughs> I don't know. Down, down here. Okay, that, that's the best I can do right now, and I'm aware here. Let me turn off the uh, light for the scene. Okay, now everything's well lit. And so what I want to do is take this extra source here, change the filter. You want to flip the sizes? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how easy that's going to be. I'm doing my I'm doing my best. That's the best I can do here. Okay, so where, where am I at? Okay. Source clone 2. This is the this is the monitor source. For some reason. Oh, okay, properties. Huh. Why is this one working? Clone? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Now it's really small for some Filter. Okay. Add retro effects. This is the CRT. I want the matrix. For some reason, I only got kind of get it to work on colorize. Scale. I'm not doing. I think they have a new matrix configuration. Probably. Oof. Like it's it's actually hard to see. Maybe, so maybe I need a... Okay, okay. I need a background color. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that looks better. Put it in... The See how that looks. Am I collabing with El Clonk anytime soon? Oh, the chat's messed up. I don't know why there are two chats. What the heck? Maybe.
Ooh. Hmm. That's pretty... Trying to find the right scale. I mean, is it like this? This one is higher contrast, like this. Whoops. Like this has higher contrast. I Use that to fade in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it, it's gonna go from here. And let me see, let me see a fade in. Oh! Huh? Mystery Sammy update? Sammy just updated? Matrix, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Matrix does have big letters, but like, maybe I need to, yeah, I maybe I need to update the plugin because like this is this is like a very early pre-release. Yeah, you know what? I, I might do that. I might do that for the sake, but I might have to restart the stream. But for the sake of the quality of the stream, I might need to do it. Wait, whoa, 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 hold on. Releases. Oh, right here. So, 3.8a. Hey guys, I might need to restart the stream just so I have the most up-to-date matrix effects. So stay right here. Well, actually, you know what? I mean, there's no there's no harm in just doing it right now and seeing if it just auto updates. So I don't have the filter up, right? 